Babe, it's fine. Not quite. Bella? There's something missing. You know, we should do something. Like what? Do you fancy a meal? A meal? Sure. What should I make? It was a joke. Yeah, I bet. How about that new restaurant tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'm not sure I can. I've got a meeting with him at the new site. It's quite a way. Oh, come on, babe. Spend a bit of time with me. It's Christmas. Fuck work. It's important. If it all goes to plan, it's a hell of a pay rise. Well, I could come with you then. We could do lunch. Tanya, that's impossible, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Stupid idea. Look, I'll try and come home early, okay? A date, huh? Is that what you want? Hey, let me do that. All done. Ah, oh, really hope Chloe's gonna be okay. She'll be fine, honey. Mom and Dad will spoil her. There was a dead fly in my face cream. Okay. It's not breaking news, Susan. Just odd. Are there flies in winter? <laughs> what? You'll be late for work. Welcome to Walk of Art. If you need any help, please let me know. Thank you. Excuse me. Sir? I want this. A wise choice for lucky lady. It's my favorite color. Mine too. It reminds me of something my grandmother used to say. What was it? Love is evergreen and never jealous. Did you know green is the color of both love and envy? No. It's an amusing contradiction. Sir? 
Thank you. Merry Christmas. Twenty percent more. Forget it. We cannot afford to lose him. He's a prime investor. Fuck him and his investment. You tell him from me. If he doesn't want to work with us, step aside. Others will. It's his loss, Tim, not ours. Jesus, are you sure about this? Of course I'm sure. Nobody plays me for a fool. Okay, fine, but he will not be happy. Yeah, yeah, fuck him. Good afternoon, sir, and welcome to the Orpheus Motel. I'm Nina. How may I be of service? Very professional. New year, new management. It's all change. Thought I'd get some practice in. What do you think? Well, you look great. Hey, where's Steve? Oh. I thought he was in today. He's sick. Everyone is. It's the flu. Well, Man flu. Well, I never get sick. Healthy living. Here. Merry Christmas. Oh, thanks. It's quiet. Yeah, for now. We're fully booked. We've got a big conference, but nobody's here yet. Well, it's party season, so they're probably in town getting drunk. I may join them. It's better than being stuck here. Sounds like a plan. Hey. If my client doesn't show, why don't we do that? Do what? Go for a drink. Oh, um, thanks for the offer, but... What? You're not my type. Sorry. What type am I then? The older married type. I meant as a friend, Nina. You misunderstood. Aren't you forgetting something? Key! It would help. Room seven. Your key, sir. And enjoy your stay. Cute. Don't forget my wake-up call. The same as usual? Seven on the dot. Done. Service? Yes. I'd like champagne and ice with two glasses. Delivered to room seven at nine o'clock sharp. Of course, sir. Thanks. You gotta be kidding me. And fuck you too. Enjoy your stay. 
day. Nina, batteries. Don't worry, I'll fix it. No rush. Okay, Felipe, healthy living. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, he's got a light. Thanks. No problem. I'm Paul. Philippe. Nice to meet you. An amazing view. I guess. Really, I think it's beautiful. You know they run meditation workshops here. I'm trying to convince work to let me bring the students up. Increasing concentration by relieving stress. You're a teacher. Mm. Lecturer, but yeah. comparative religious studies. Yeah, I know. Sounds boring. Maybe it is, but anyway. Here for a conference, but no one's turned up. Misconnection, or delay, something like that. What about you? What are you here for? As it turns out, I'm in the same boat as you. Yeah, what do you mean? I was supposed to meet someone. Doesn't matter. No, no, I'll listen if you want. It's a long story. I'll go grab some food. Catch you later. Hello. Thanks. No problem. Um, look after your room key. I can't find a spare. Shame. I was hoping you'd sneak in and fuck my brains out. I apologize, okay? Get that crap all the time. It's hard to know when someone's being sincere. Forget it. Good evening, sir. Ready to order? Yes. I'd like... The soup aux champignons, followed by filet mignon, rare. And to drink? Merlot. Large or small? The bottle. Very good, sir. Oh, well, I was going to ask if you wanted a drink, but... Help yourself. Thank you. I was thinking of uh, heading into town in a bit. A few drinks, find some action. Want to come? Come on. While the cat's away. While the cat's away, the mice will play? You don't know that one. Mice don't play. They get stupid and caught in traps. So you understand? Not all mice are stupid. I once knew a mouse it was so clever it could steal bait from a trap without getting caught. Until he got caught, of course. You knew this mouse personally? Was your close friend? I knew of a mouse, it's better. And he was a she. Mm. 
one of the crafty ones. Clever mice. Long may their tails twitch. So the uh, girl at reception. Nina. She's okay. Why? You interested? Oh, she's nice. Nice means you want to fuck her. Wouldn't you given half a chance? Yeah, you're bullshitting me. Nah. I'm not her type. Too old, apparently. The downside of hitting 30. The feast slowly becomes a famine. Tell you something, though. Chick before Nina was her name. Shit, doesn't matter. She had the biggest pair of tits I'd ever seen. Just beautiful. I wanted to fuck her so much. Did you? We hooked up one night, but that's all. Well, the cat's away. Sorry. Uh, I'm on the wine, I talk shit. Do you want to get a coffee? Nah, I got a piss. Back in the mid. Just one person. One opinion. Fuck it. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's okay. He, he's here now. One sec. It's your wife. Honey, it's me. Are you okay? The meeting's over. We had a few drinks to celebrate. No, uh, I've, had the, I've had the drink. I won't drive home. Better save than sorry. Honey, I've got to go. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. I love you too. Bye. Why answer my phone? I am so sorry. I, I thought it might be important. I don't need a fucking secretary. Who is it? You're early. I said nine.
Hey, Nina. You driving to town? I have a taxi outside. Can we share? I'll pay. If you insist. What do you like best about me? About you? I like your smile, your sense of humor, the way you make me feel, and... What? I feel safe. What about you? It's the way you look at me. into those eyes and everything else just fades away. Feels like home. Do you believe in fate? I don't know. Like what? Do you believe people meet and things happen for a reason? You mean like a plan? Yeah. I believe in luck. Not fate. Dance with me. See, you're not so bad. I love you. Room service. Another bottle of champagne for room seven. Very good, sir. Thanks. Are you beautiful? That's sweet. Merry Christmas. You know I can't. Just once. You never know. It's beautiful. Where is it? Room service. That was quick. Day of school. First lesson. On the tape stays on for now. So, who knows anything about the golden rule? Anybody? Felipe. Huh? Okay. Well, the golden rule is a very old philosophy, it dates back to ancient Egypt. From there, it spread through the Middle East, into China, and then to Europe. Its roots are embedded in every major religion, and it is the moral cornerstone of civilized society. It is a very simple, but profound masterstroke of reciprocal altruism. I, oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, are the big words going over your head? I'll put it like this. What is hateful to you, do not do unto your fellow man.
Well, I'm going to take an educated guess. That young lady wasn't your wife. thought so. You see that? That is an excellent example of breaking the golden rule. Put yourself in the shadow. Imagine your wife. You wouldn't like it. It's very painful. Guess what I found in there? your manners. You were very rude to me in the restaurant. I was trying to do you a favor answering your phone. Your wife, if she was in a blind panic, or she'd called earlier but no reply. Why would you do that? I mean, even if playing away, you could have at least let her know you were safe. And there I was, trying to help. And all I get is abuse. You know, I could have, I could have told her about the receptionist. <sighs> Who the fuck are you? Where's Camille? What are you doing? Not here. What the fuck are you talking about? Your manners. Hmm. You know what else isn't here? There's no rappers. <laughs> you always fuck my wife without a condom. See, I heard every word. Connects to an app. Recorded it too. Mm. What do you think she'd say? Mm. Mm. Those messages, photos. So in a minute, I'm going to take off the tape. We need to have a chat. You make a noise. Well, that's fine. If there's no one around, you see. No conference. All the rooms are booked for reasons too numerous to enumerate. Bacchus, or Dionysus, if you're Greek. God of wine, sex, madness. Torn apart by the wrath of a jealous spouse. And later resurrected. A symbol of death and rebirth, and of pruning of the vines to encourage fresh growth. grapes for the harvest of new wine. You know, that's the exact same look my students give me. 
All they care about is console games. Getting drunk. Who fancies who? No. To them, ethics are a meme. It's a generation of hashtag retweet morals. And celebrity is God. You know, I once knew a guy, so vain. He said he believed in the Almighty 100% because he saw his face every morning in the mirror when he shaved. He died in a car crash. It's a tree while taking a selfie. What do you want? That's a good question. I don't want any trouble, okay? When you fuck another man's wife, trouble's normally close behind. I'm sorry. Well, that's fine then, eh? Off you go, no, I'm done. I'll do anything you want. Anything. Just. Don't tell my wife, please. Well, that didn't take long, did it? No, don't worry, Felipe. I'm not going to tell your wife. Thank you. No. You will. On this. A full confession, then it goes on your Facebook. Instagram, Snapchat, all the other shit you've got on here. You know, really, this could be the phone of a 12-year-old girl saying it could be. That's not going to happen, OK? I have money. I can pay you whatever you want. Let's make a deal, OK? You mean, like, do business? Yes. I've got another idea. Either you confess, or I make you confess. A thousand. Every month for life. No. You're not listening to me. Two thousand. Tax free. Come on. I would not wipe my ass with your money. OK? I want a confession. No. Felipe. Fuck you. Man, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't touch her again. I promise. You're just saying what you think I want to hear. It's a survival instinct. It's not sincere. You have to be sincere. And you have to make me believe. my daughter's life. I'm sorry. You gotta believe me. I know I've screwed up. But think of her. You'll destroy everything she loves. Her family. And my family. Not a second thought. Just let me go. I will say no more about it. Well, who is that? Is that a threat? No, 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 no. It's not a threat. It's an assurance. No police, no trouble. Just two guys coming to an arrangement. Come on. What do you say? It's, it's Christmas. Fuck Christmas! Fuck Christmas! Fuck you too! Is that. Is that all Chloe is to you? Just a, a shield against consequences? You said Chloe. I never 
have told you her name. How do you know her name? That's a very good question. It's two in five minutes. Fuck, you must be getting dizzy. How do you know my daughter's name? Tell me. No! Felipe, education has a structure. If you've heard my daughter, I will kill you. Tell me what I want. Then, I'll answer question number two. Revenge. Not my style. You want a confession? Why? You want me to suffer? You must try harder. You want to post the confession online and embarrass me? Humiliate me? Please. Don't think of it as humiliation. Think of it as an education. My daughter, you promised. I know, Chloe. Hold that thought. Paul! 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 Is Chloe all right? Shut up. Just tell me. As if you'll confess if I tell you she's fine. I will. I promise. And what do you know about promises? Last chance. Confess, or I send everything on the phone to your wife. You get nothing until I know Chloe is safe. I've already got everything. I win either way. Just thought I'd give you a chance. A chance? For what? Absolution. Confession's good for the soul. If you have one. Paul, please. We can sort it out. Can we sort this? Don't do it. She leave and take Chloe. Send. Bye bye, Chloe. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Don't feel ashamed. It means you love. That's hope. Giving strong drink to him that is ready to perish. And wine to those that be of heavy heart. Proverbs.
So let's talk about Camille. Let's talk about what's been snuffling between her legs. A bloated ball with an appetite for apples. Waiting for this. Funny thing is, I was following you, expecting to see Camille. Stupid mice get caught in traps. Snap, snap, snap. And now for the coup de grace. She'd deny it to your face. But I thought I was losing her. I could see the struggle. Until I showed her that. And now she knows the truth. That you are nothing. But a filthy fucking pig. Class dismissed. Oh, I'll be back up again. I'll stop that for a friend. I'm heading back now. <laughs> Doesn't matter who. What are you, my mother? <laughs> Yeah. It was a joke, Mum. All right, bye. You want a drink? Mm. Wait your turn. Mm. Oh. I want a cigarette. Manners, remember? May I please have a cigarette? Hello? 
Tag. Sorry. He's going safe! Where's your step? Yes, yes, yes. Where's coming, huh? Where's coming? Room 12. Room 12. Oh, oh. Ah. 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 Come on! Ah. Ah. What do you think? I mean, it's not my usual colour. But then again, there's nothing really usual about tonight at all, is there? Because tonight, I have a date. It's absurd, isn't it? I mean, why do we even bother, Ray? The average man is not going to go to this much trouble, I can assure you. And then again, with a figure like yours, I guess you don't have to try very hard, do you? Now, you and I have more in common than you think. I cheated on my ex-husband too. Had affairs. And then I met Felipe. You know, we'd actually meet here, at this very motel. It was our secret place, our escape. Oh, I'm such a bitch, Patron. Do you know what I mean? I had no regrets. None. None whatsoever. I know it's funny, isn't it? Because now you've actually stolen him off me. But don't worry. Because I don't blame you entirely. You glad you helped me catch him now, Camille? Jesus Christ. Well, you know, if all else fails, you'll have a shining career as a gynecologist. I would say they disgust me. But in some ways, when I think about it, I feel it's a bit of a turn on. I mean, what's wrong with me? I'm beautiful, aren't I? 
Oh, and just for the record, I heard everything, by the way. All that talk of true love and feeling safe. Felipe, you're God's gift to no one. Dinner time. And don't you dare blame her. I've known about your little affair now for weeks. And there wasn't a business convention. I charged every sweet to your card. I wanted to make this date extra special. Nobody here but us. And as we both know, close circuits here are a no-no. It's a hideaway for cheats. And when it pays, well, why put cameras in paradise, eh? <laughs> Thank you, Maitre D. Can you check on the food now, please? Hmm. It's funny, isn't it? This morning when you left, I was still that innocent little housewife. Mmm, delicious. You know, you really should try some of this, Felipe. It really, really is divine. Oh, yeah. Let me help you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to swallow, my darling. I mean, that's what you've always told me. Bitch, you won't get away with this. Maybe not. After all, everything we do has consequences. Even for you. Consequences? Like what? For you, my love. A banquet. <gasps> Starters. And I've put something a little extra special in there for you. Oh. Would you like Mummy to feed you instead? You can shove that spoon and your date right up your ass. Felipe, what do they call a dish best served cold? Revenge? Is that what this is all about? You could have filed for divorce. Had the car, the house, everything. Instead, you teamed up with this loser. Oh, no. This is not about a straight revenge. This is about making something. I mean, that's what you always like, isn't it, Felipe? You want everything to be perfect. Is this perfect enough for you? Feels pretty good to me. Ready for our main course? Maitre D. Oh. <laughs> Perfection. I mean, tell me, is it the constant stream of altered images into your world? You know, the body beautiful, perfect breasts. Young Uncle Brown. You have no idea what it's like as a woman. To be made to feel ashamed and fearful of growing old on a daily basis. Now you look me in the eye and tell me it's the same for men. Maybe it is. Bullshit. Susan, please, listen, we can fix this. Let's go home, talk, whatever it takes. 
Let's save our family. Not that far. Main course. Hmm. You know, in France, this is known as a cassoulet. I made it myself. It takes hours to prepare. But like most things, when you put the time and effort into it, it's perfect. Open wide. You don't like it? Well, I tried my very best. It's time for dessert now. It's nearly over. You wanted to have your talk. So, what should we talk about? Weather? Politics? TV? Chloe. Oh, look. It's a tart. Your favorite. You know, they call this the drink of forgetfulness. One sip and all this becomes a distant memory. Are you ready to forgive and forget now, Camille? We can make this whole thing all go away. Tell her what you told me in the restaurant. Tell her how you want us to start again and remain a family. Show her how you bet. <laughs> Not so pretty now, is he? You want to continue with this stupid charade? Fine. Let her drink and then let her go. and friends. Do it. What's the point? Lovely to meet you, Camille. We should do it again sometime. Camille! Camille! so funny. That's it. It's over. <laughs> oh God, baby. We are so far from over.
You're such a fucking hypocrite. How does your golden rule theory sit with fucking my wife? There's a difference. Bullshit. You broke the rule. Not us. his eyes. Did that make you hard? Did Paul fucking me turn you on? Or maybe you just like watching me. <laughs> oh, nothing. Did you peek at sick? Versus to rival Blake. I don't think Felipe likes poetry. Cruelty has a human heart and jealousy a human face. Terror, human form divine. Secrecy, the human dress. The human dress is forged iron human form a fiery forge the human face a furnace sealed the human heart its hungry gorge For mercy has a human heart. Pity, a human face. Love, a human form divine. And peace, a human dress. Share and share alike. Still here. Yes. Why? Enjoy yourself. Yeah, well, now you know what it feels like. Did you feel the guilt? I always felt guilty. Just wanted to hurt him. I 
challenge you. Mission accomplished. Feel better? A little, yeah. I hate myself. But I hate him a little less. It's like a stone's been lifted off my heart. Let's go home. And then what? to let me go soon. The cleaners start doing the run at 7. Come on. We're done playing games. Untie me. We never complained about it before. God damn it, Susan. Let me go. You know, babe, She'd have gone to all this trouble for you. What do you mean? From Camille. She was so quick to leave. Wasn't she? <laughs> Not even a goodbye, Felipe. <laughs> so now she's gone. Forgotten. Revenge is the best measure of love. Paul was such a pretentious bastard. Why what? Cheat on me. The same reason we cheated. The passion, the excitement, the chase. And the romance? So all of this it was, was me. It was all about my pride and my ego. I am the guilty one. I made the first move. I chased her into bed. That's what you want to hear, right? My confession. Help me make it right. Well, Chloe needs her parents. She needs both of us. We all make mistakes from time to time, don't we? Hmm? We're a family. We can get through this. Maybe. People have come back from much worse than this, I know that. Unfortunately, I don't see that happening. What do you mean? Oh, Felipe. I am so happy for you that you've had your little insight. Your family's not a bad deal in need of a fix here. Fine. Divorce me. Take it all. I don't care about that shit anymore. All I care about is Chloe. So let's come to some arrangement. Jesus Christ. It doesn't have to be toxic. I think we're past toxic, dear. 
Don't punish her for my sins. Don't you dare believe that you're a martyr! Not for one fucking second! Now you listen to me. What happens here happens, and for good reason! weak and childish to the least. Vain, arrogant, self-obsessed. A martyr? No. I see what's important. It's not me, it's Chloe. For Christ's sake, run! You selfish fucking bitch! Is all this really more important than glory? When we first got hitched, pretty much the first weekend. Remember how good the sex was? I was already six weeks late, Felipe. Already pregnant. See, see, you can't have Chloe. She's not even yours. You're lying. Why would I lie about my own daughter? She's everything to me. Not you. You fucking bitch. You've been lying to me all these years? Well, a girl has to take care of herself. Felipe, it's Nina. Rise and shine. I'm sorry it's late. Here's your wake-up call. Hello? We both go to jail for this. Yeah. 
Might as well give it a go. Fuck you. I'll never forget this. So there is no happy ending. I forgive and forget. The way I see it, You've got two options. You kill me, or you let me go. If you let me go, I press charges. If you kill me, you go on the run. Either way, you lose Chloe. You willing to risk that? Revenge is the best measure of love. It's your choice. Actually, I've just thought of a third option. 